Hello, I'm doing a book review, and the book I want to review is Dissolving Classroom. Now, Dissolving Classroom is a manga written and illustrated by Junji Ito and published in 2015. Now, this is about a brother and sister who are constantly moving from town to town, and the brother takes care of the younger sister because their parents died a few years prior to the events of this story. And the brother is constantly apologizing to people, even when he didn't do anything wrong. And the little sister is this really creepy little girl who is always following people around on the street, saying things like, I'm gonna eat your brains. And every person that the brother apologizes to ends up dying in these really bizarre and grotesque ways. It turns out that a long time ago, the brother made a deal with the devil, and him apologizing to people is essentially his way of communicating with Satan. The issue is, every time he communicates with Satan, it sends out these electromagnetic waves that cause people around him to melt. Either their brains melt, or their faces melt, or their entire bodies melt. Now, Dissolving Classroom, I thought, was a very interesting manga. I didn't like it as much as some of Junji Ito's other books, like Uzumaki and Gaio, but I still thought it was a really interesting read. And like so many of Ito's other stories, it's such a bizarre but very unique horror story, and original too. I never really seen a story quite like this. A kid who apologizes as a way to communicate with the devil, and it causes people to melt. Like, whether you like this or not, you can't deny that that is an original idea. And it's very creepy and surreal and nightmarish, and there's some really good body horror in this story. Like, if you're a fan of the body horror genre, I think you'll definitely get a kick out of this. And Junji Ito's artwork is excellent. It's creepy and nightmarish and fits the story so well. And the two main characters are very interesting. Like, the little sister is an absolutely terrifying character. And the brother is also really interesting. And yes, I know both the brother and sister do have names. But to be honest, I'm not going to be able to pronounce either one of these characters' names. And there is an interesting level of moral ambiguity about the brother, where it does seem like he's doing this on purpose, and he knows exactly what he's doing to people, but there are moments in the story where it seems like he does genuinely regret what he's doing, and there are moments where the apologies do seem genuine. Now, each chapter in this book is very episodic, where each chapter could kind of work as a standalone story, but put together they all tell a singular narrative. My favorite chapter was definitely chapter 2, Dissolving Beauty, in which the brother gets a girlfriend, but as the chapter goes on, the girlfriend's face starts dissolving. But here's the thing, she doesn't notice this. Like, when she looks in a mirror, she sees herself like she thinks she's normal looking, but people around her see that her face is actually melting. And while the chapter is darkly funny, you do find yourself feeling very sorry for this girl. So, I recommend Dissolving Classroom. I don't recommend it as much as Junji Ito's other work, but it's still a good read. Now, there are two bonus stories at the end of this that are unconnected to the main story. The first is The Return, which is a very bizarre and very creepy, but strangely moving and heartbreaking love story. The other one is Children of the Earth, and this is a very creepy story. It's it's only a few pages long, but it's a terrifying story. So that was my review on Dissolving Classroom by Junji Ito, and bye.